are three things I hate. Um, hypocrites, uh, mixed signals, and me for doing the previous two things. So cut to the year uh, 2016, my sophomore year of college, the prime year for taking every L possible. See, at the time I was messaging this girl from back home, a year older from my high school, my senpai, if you will. And I was pretty sure she liked me, which is rare. And I say pretty sure because she was texting me things like, you're so cute and I wish we dated. And, and see, I don't peep a lot of uh, stuff, but like I'm not Helen Keller. Clearly you're somewhat interested if you said, I wish we dated. Which is funny because literally like two days later, two days, I'm scrolling down my Instagram feed and I see a pic of her with a guy captioned me and my boo. What, 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 what just happened? Am I in the twilight zone right now? And that situation really resonated with me and really sunk in how wrong it was to not be clear with your damn intentions. And I never wanted to lead a girl down the same path that I got led. <clears throat> Now, I'm already not the most social person, and after that instance, that only made things worse. But I soon realized that staying inside for 20 hours at a time and eating flaming hot Cheetos for dinner probably wasn't the best uh, life decision. So one day when my roommates were going out with some friends, I decided to divert from my normal hermit ways and attempt to leave the apartment. That is a decision I now very much regret. Enter. Katie, who was like if a DVD copy of Superbad and Ellen Page had a love child. Now, I always knew Katie, but I didn't really know her, if that makes any sense. But what I did know was that A, she was easy to talk to, and B, uh, we had talked before, which clears my mandatory criteria for starting a conversation with anyone. And after having that single conversation with her, I learned she was quite possibly one of the chillest people on the planet. So even after that initial party, we'd see each other more often at functions and events and usually talk to each other and slowly get more acquainted. In, in fact, um, one night I, I kind of decided to open up to her about all the L's I'd been acquiring when it came to girls. And much to my surprise, she said she felt the same. And like that exact moment is when we became actual ass friends. That is also the exact moment when we had our last not weird conversation by ourselves. So jump to like maybe like a couple of days later. So a group of friends, including Katie, were walking and a couple of us were heading back to my apartment, excluding Katie. And you know, me being me, I, I wanted her to come. Like it it she's a homie, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I go over to Katie and I'm like, yo, you should totally come back to the apartment with us. And she's kind of hesitant at first because she said she had a busy schedule, but she ultimately agreed. Now, in most cases, this wouldn't be a problem, like inviting someone to your house, like, like that, this friendship one-on-one. But, but the thing, the thing was that it was, um, it was two o'clock in the morning. I invited a girl to come to my house at two o'clock in the morning. Why would you do this? Now fast forward like 30 minutes, I'm in my bed and everyone else is asleep in the living room. At least so I thought. See, as I start to close my eyes, all of a sudden, I hear a creaking open of my door and some snickering. Like this isn't something unheard of though. Like they're probably just trying to mess with me. So I open my eyes to say something to them and I see Katie getting shoved into my room. Were they serious? Y'all really gonna push her in my room? That's super disrespectful. Why are you getting in my bed? This girl just slid under the covers. What are you doing? And before I can make left from right, her face starts coming closer to mine. Time just stops. Like my mind is racing a mile a minute, trying to figure out why someone who I thought was a purely platonic friend was trying to get a, a little less platonic. And I realized that conversation we had about relationship issues. Did, did she consider that as like me telling her I wanted to Ah, f she did. Me and this girl have been talking, like, uh, like often, laughing at each other's jokes, uh, going to events together. Like, people are trying to date do that. Not to mention that, well, uh, w what's a delicate way to put this? Um, we uh, may or uh, may not have been in the right uh, state of mind. So that would explain her overall uh, forwardness. But to top off this sh sandwich, none of this would have been a problem if I had some common sense and not brought a girl over at two o'clock in the morning why why like y'all weren't about to play scrabble what were you thinking in fact this whole situation didn't make sense i'm a grown man who avidly watches dubbed anime and posts videos on the internet uh 
why me? I don't think for the last three months I've worn anything but sweatpants outside of my house. Like she could have did a lot better. So as she starts to come closer, like there, there's two ways I, I figure this can go down. I can stop her. Uh, like an adult and, and tell this girl I value our friendship and that this whole situation is a huge misunderstanding. Or I could panic, tense my face and lips up as much as I can so the kiss would be really bad. So her lips keep coming and I just decide to freeze. I might as well have been in carbon night. Like I, my head did not move. I didn't dodge nothing. I just kind of stay there in hopes that maybe she would catch the gist because I was too punk to say anything. So her lips connect to mine and it was not pretty. And after that, I think she kind of got the hint. And then we just kind of laid there. I felt like dying. And when I woke up in the morning, she was gone. Now, do I regret that experience? No, uh, I learned how to not be a mixed signal sending asshole, but am I happy that it happened? Absolutely not. What's up y'all? Now make sure you stick around because I have a shout out to do at the end of this uh, end card thing. So stay tuned to see if you want. But first and foremost, um, I hope you all like this video. This video has been on the back burner for so long, like so long, like, like at least months. It's been completed for months, but I'm just now getting it up now. Other than that, I'm working really hard to get stuff out weekly. And, you know, get you guys that good, good content you've been waiting for. I'm starting school, I'm starting track, uh, but I think I can actually work it out this time. Uh, have faith, uh, keep interacting with me. All right, so now let's find out who won the shout out. Shout out to, oh man, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. Jawayne Casey, Jawayne, Jawayne, my boy. Thank you, Jawayne, really appreciate the retweet. I'm liking the top hat, man. I'm liking the top hat. That's classy, I always wish I had like one of those. And if you yourself wanna win, you know, a shout out uh, next week, make sure you retweet my pin tweet. But all right, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Peace.